Welcome to another video of What the Fuck Is She Doing Now? We are doing a trade, a Trader Joe's haul again with some of my favorites. So let's start with, oh, I went specifically there for, they have this really great pineapple salsa. I love it. It's so good. Goes with eggs, chips, uh, whatever else you do with salsa. But it's really good with the chunks of pineapple. And then we're always going to get some veggie broth because I like making soup. I like making, uh, what are those, crock pot things. This always helps. Low sodium veggie broth. Uh, oh, one of my staples. I always have to have two in the house. And this will last me six months, so I really don't have to go back to Trader Joe's for a while. But it's their garlic salt grinders. Really good. I'm just gonna clank around. Some garbanzo beans, or chickpeas, as you'd say. These are a great filler, so if you don't want to use meat, or because meat is so expensive right now, you can do kind of half and half with dishes with these. Then, oh, the queen of queen of tomatoes. The San Marzano, I like this brand. It's probably better to get your tomatoes in a glass jar from what I've been reading and researching, but I always like to have these in the house when I make my sauce. We also have black beans for Taco Tuesdays, of course. And then one of my favorite spices is their Safarito Italian style seasoning blend. And it's got a little um, red pepper in it, chili pepper, so it gives it a nice little kick in your dishes. Woo, bag number one, down. And now, as we know, meat, fish, poultry is pretty expensive right now. So once you see the signs on uh, the Trader Joe's shelves of the meat, say it says $10.99 for a piece of chicken, rifle through some of the meat packages because you can usually find packages that are a little less expensive because the weight of the meat is probably not as much as some other packaging, if that makes sense. So trying out these guys, they are salmon pinwheels with spinach, Mediterranean style herb feta cheese wrapped in salmon. And this one is $8. And on the sign, this is what I mean. The sign said it was like $10.99. So I rifled through and got a couple of these. Freeze them. If you're not gonna eat them all in a week, just put it in your freezer. Next, we have our Trader Joe's pizza dough. Just another thing to pop in your freezer in case you have nothing to eat that week and you just want something simple and easy and not have to make your own dough. And some endives. I really can't find these many places out here. So if I go to Trader Joe's, I always try to pick up a little packet. I like to dip them in hummus or put them in salads. It's just a nice little crunch. Kind of like, um, like a softer cabbage with a little bitter, crisp lettuce taste. <laughs> and then next, get out of here. Uh, so like I said, I was rifling through the chicken packages and this one's only $5.87. And so, the, oh, $4.79. So not bad um, compared to other grocery stores that I've been going to lately. Then, ooh, for our charcuterie boards on Sundays, I like these little guys. They're little cornishes. I don't know if that's how you say it, but basically mini pickles. But these have a nice crisp crunch to them as well. Oh, I'm trying their balsamic vinaigrette. Not crazy about the ingredients in it, but we'll give it a whirl. Everything in moderation, right? And if you watch my videos, you know that I love my ginger shots and my turmeric shots, and they're nice and spicy and good for your immune system. So those are awesome. Ooh, whoa, jumping chicken. Here's another chicken packet. And now, loving this tzatziki sauce. So same thing if I'm making like a little Mediterranean or hummus platter. I'll take a little spoonful of tzatziki sauce and dip my veggies in there. Really good. Then, at a really good price, these were around like $5 each, some ground chicken. So instead of doing ground beef with your tacos or meatballs, I like to do some ground chicken meatballs. That's kind of on a weekly basis. And then, these are so beautiful. I have never really cooked or ate these before, but they were just so gorgeous, I wanted to try them out. These heirloom tomatoes, so pretty, so fun. And they were only $4 for all, that's, that's a lot of tomatoes. Beautiful. 
bulk. And then this, if you want to give it a try, they are Parmesan cheese wraps. So instead of using like a tortilla or bread, you just wrap them in cheese and one gram of carb. Not bad. Sodium's a little high, but that's the trade-off. And then last but not least, my cute little basil plant that I got that smells so good. Ugh, I'm so happy to have this and put this on my counter and use fresh basil when I'd like. So all of that, guys, $100 at Trader Joe's. So it's really not bad to get six, seven, eight, eight different meat items, condiments, pizza doughs, wraps, veggies for a hundred bucks. There you go, guys. Enjoy and go have fun at Trader Joe's.